Hello. We talked yesterday about bringing a sense of mindfulness to how we speak to others. Today, let's talk about how we speak to ourselves. Do any of these statements sound familiar? I'll be happy when. I will have all the time I want when. I'm not as smart as they are, so I'm too old. I'm too fat. I'm too skinny. I'm too something. People don't love me because I'm challenging. I don't work well with others. I can never make enough money to be happy. Rich people are selfish and mean. <laughs> there are so many of these limiting beliefs floating around in our heads, popping up at the worst possible moment and reaffirming themselves over and over and over again. Henry Ford said, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. These beliefs are a lens on our lives. It's how we see ourselves in the world, whether that's true or not. And in many cases, it's simply not true. But they're so ingrained in us, we believe them to be true. And each and every time we repeat them, we make them true. Unless we can bring these beliefs out into the light, into our awareness, they lurk around in our subconscious, waiting for opportunities to control our lives and limit our true self and our happiness. So let's explore this a little. Our thoughts can get caught up in a pattern, a looping of these thoughts to the point that we get sort of stuck. We forget to check in with ourselves and see what is immediate and right here, right now. We find that we're living in this loop instead, fueling a reactive looping where we feel stuck. We need to step out of that and reconnect with what's in there now, right here. If we look at these loops, we may see thoughts like, people don't see me or understand me. People don't like me. I can never be who I truly want to be. And there's often an undercurrent of this. This will never change. These thoughts prevent us from trusting ourselves, trusting others, taking risks, and expressing our true selves. We believe these beliefs as though they are reality, but actually they're virtual reality, not the real reality that we're experiencing right now, right here. Typically, these beliefs come from a time in our lives when we were wounded or rejected, and our minds armor us against that happening again. It's a self-protective self reflex. So how do we unpack these beliefs for ourselves? We have to ask ourselves some pretty tough questions. So we want to do this when we're suffering, when we're in that moment and we realize that we're in a loop. So let's take a breath and take yourself back to one of these limiting beliefs that you have about yourself? What is it that you think is holding you back? Now ask yourself, what am I believing right now? Is it true? Do I really know that this is true? What is it like to be me living inside this belief? Where do you feel it in your body? Is there a place where you feel a little heavy or maybe a little dark? How has this belief affected me, my life, and those around me? What is this belief protecting? There is an unmet need within me that's giving strength to this belief. What is it that I'm protecting? What would my life be like if I wasn't believing this? Maybe more importantly, who would I be if I wasn't believing this? Can you give yourself the space and the trust and the compassion to sit with this feeling and decide if it's really true? Now, 
This is not a simple process. It'll take some practice to put this in perspective, to deepen our attention to the now. But if you can go through these steps that we just went through, when you realize you're stuck in a limiting belief, you can slowly release this belief and create some new patterns in your life. I invite you to sit with this and I will put the uh, list of the steps on the blog so that you can go through them yourself and just take them through when you feel that you're encountering a limiting belief and see what happens. See if maybe there's a subtle shift that can change. Thank you.